Okay, go ahead, Gary. Hi, I'm Gary from uh, laketrout.org and uh, brooktrout.ca, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to butterfly a trout and um, show you on video so it's a little easier. So you can also look at my pictures and the step-by-step -step instructions, but so what you do, get knife, hold the blade upside down, and you stick it right in here. <laughs> my friends are trying to, you make me laugh. And I just want the whole world to know on YouTube that Rob Hazard is gay. <laughs> so I'm slicing up the rib cage here. Right? Now I turn my knife around back again. And I slice through a thin little layer of bones. Like that. Now what I'm doing is I'm coming, I've flipped it around so I'm, I'm on the tail here. So there's just a little bit of uh, meat that you have to slice down along the uh, rib cage here. So now I'm going to do the same on the other side. You break right the base of the rib cage. I'll try to get it so you can see here. And you're gonna slice down along the rib cage, and I'm slicing through a little row bones that we take out later. Okay, now I'm gonna go. This is the the rib cage right oh, in the middle here. So I still have this last piece of meat to slice out right along the tail. So you just go along the uh, the backbone here, and it just cuts out easy. So now what you've got is you got a slab of meat. And then all the bones are right in the center. So you just turn your knife sideways, cut along. And there's your butterfly meat. Now, that's your butterfly. Now we got we took out a pair of bones. We cut through a set of bones earlier that we have to still cut out. You can feel them with your finger. You just uh, just slice along either side, then you turn your knife sideways, and so you lose a little bit of meat, but it's okay. Now there's on the other side, and you can feel the bones with your fingers. You can actually see them. Higher? No, not not you, Gary. <laughs> And you just cut the bones out, and that's it. You completely boneless butterfly trout. Let's fold it over for you so you can see it. So now, this is about the smallest trout you want to do it with, and it's actually kind of hard doing this with a trout this small. So what we want to do is get tin foil, smear butter, poultry seasoning on it, some salt. You put down your your slab of uh, trout here. And then what I do is I get stovetop stuffing and I just pull the ins fold the inside with stovetop stuffing, flip it over, wrap it up in the tin foil, put it on the fire for 20 minutes. Um, you can also use uh, sweet red pepper jelly and cream cheese and make kind of like a jalapeno trout, which is really good. Um, you know, you can put just about anything in it, but uh, putting, uh, you know, putting onions and green peppers and that type of thing, that's kind of a waste because it just takes the food right out. So. Anyways, thank you very much.